Kai from Flamenco Explained, and in this lesson, we're going to look at how to make more interesting compas in your solea. Uh, how to take the little bits that make up a lot of the compas that we play and put them together in new ways that, that make it more interesting or more varied. I'm going to show you a bunch of variations of these. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on the notes because we have PDFs with the notation and the tabs for all of this. And we're going to specifically look really at one melody and all the hundreds of variations that come out of this one Escovia melody. Uh, because a lot of the compas that we use in Solea comes from the Escovia. Uh, and the three basic melodies for Escovia are one, two, Those are the three basic melodies that we use for Escovia and Solea. And the Escovia is usually the dance section, right? So it's about the pulse. It's phrased a little differently than the rest of our compas, but we use it all the time, whether we're accompanying a singer, playing for dance, or playing solo. So this melody is the one we're going to look at. At its root, the melody is really just this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Before we look at the arpeggios that we use a lot to embellish these, let's just look at a couple things that we can do with that melody. So if the basic melody is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, the first thing we're going to do is one, two and three, four, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then if we want to embellish just the melody even further, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So on top of those melodies, we can do one, two, three, or one, two, and three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, or five. Right, so these are just ways to take this basic idea of one, two, three, four, five, six, and embellish them. First, we embellish the melody, as we saw. One, two, three can be one, two, and three, or one, two, three. And of course, you can make up different variations. Those are just three really common ways of playing that little melody. So that A minor gets us to the C. And then here we have seven, eight, nine. And as we've learned in all elements of flamenco, really, seven, eight, nine is a place where we have a ton of freedom. So we could do seven, eight, nine, ten. We can embellish that with seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We're just arpeggiating seven, eight, nine, ten with sextuplets. Or we could change the chords a little bit, seven, eight, nine, or seven. seven, eight, nine, ten. This is another common one for this melody. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We embellish that a little. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We can take it further. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And of course we have the standard So we could put that after one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we've got some new variations, all based really on this idea of A minor for three beats, C for three beats, and then a 
the 7, 8, 9 thing. So one of the interesting things that happens is this A minor can be replaced with a couple of variations. One of them, which is very common, is this one. One, two, three, four. Gets us to C on four in the same way that this one, two, three, four does. So if we take this idea, one, two, three, four. And let's just take a look at what we're actually doing here. We're on an E. Uh, we're playing the E in the thumb. Uh, Here we strum and pull off. So one E and a two and three and a four. That gets us to C. We don't have to change anything on C. We can use the C's that we have before. And we can use any seven, eight, nine. Any of those ideas for seven, eight, nine can work. So now instead of always doing one, two, third really common variation, which is this, one, two, three, four. Again, we land on C on beat four. So we start here, and then an E, and then we add the note F and pull off, and land on our C. So we can do one, Also very common to syncopate that one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. If we now take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and do that the same way every time, we can still really vary our compass by doing one, two, three, four. just playing with the first three beats in those. And as you've noticed, sometimes I would play the C figure a little differently or even embellish something like that. Rather than I just do seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? And that's just all really common stuff that we do as we're playing compas. We just sort of embellish little ideas that we've already had or worked on. So what I want to look at now that we've sort of seen the different ways that you can play with this very simple, basic, important traditional idea, I'm going to look at a few fun variations that people have shown me or that I've picked up along the way um, that are just sort of particular favorites of mine. The first one's a one compas shorter version, which goes like this. <laughs> two compas version plows through 10, 11, 12 and keeps going for an entire second compas. Right, and I played those both very straight, uh, but the second one in particular playing that for years, ever since I learned it. So the first version ends right on 10. The second version 
keeps going. One. tricky and very syncopated, but it's really just variations of what we've been looking at. So another variation that we're going to look at is one that I learned from Yehin a few years ago. I don't know that it's his. In Cañoroto, everyone seems to sort of communally own a lot of the material. So I don't know who actually came up with this, but I like this one a lot too. So this variation starts in ways that we've already looked at, right? We have one, two, three, four, but then instead of doing for four, five, six, we go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Another one I like a lot that I don't remember where I picked up. So this one gets us to the C on four, two, three, four, and then dives into the scale from there. Four, five, six, and now we're on an F chord. Right, so again, it's just a variation of A minor getting a C to F and resolving. And finally, one more variation that sounds like this. So this one starts out one, two, three, and when we get to the C, Ta 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 Right? These are sextuplets. Until we get to here. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right? So again, A minor, C. And then basically an F chord back to E. So as you see, these are all variations of this one, two, three, four, five, six idea. And everyone takes that point of departure and embellishes basically to taste. We all come up with our own different ways of playing these melodies, uh, and the same will hold true of all the other melodies as well. And actually one last little thing, you can kind of combine them because you could even start with one, two, three, which gets us to C on four, and do any of the previous compasses we had looked at, but rather than doing one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, we're doing one, So you see the possibilities are basically endless. Well, I recommend picking a few of the ones that I just did and learning them and sort of trying to figure out where they diverge from our basic idea, right? And then as you hear other ones that you like that you can tell are some sort of variation of these ideas, figure out again, what are the most important parts of them and what are the parts you can change? Because anytime you learn a new seven, eight, nine, you can tack that on to the end of all your first six beats of an Escobilla pattern. So I know that this is a lot of information, but if you just take the jumping off point and learn one or two little variations first, you'll start to see how it works. For example, you just replace this with this, and suddenly you've got twice as many ways of playing compas. And then you add this as a, you add that as a variation, and you've got three times as many ways of playing the same compases from there on out. 
And then little by little, you'll start to see that you can add the first three beats to any second three beats and then sort of start building your own compasses that way.